Yo, what is going on guys, Mace here and I'm back in the mic with another video. Now today, man, I'll be going over the best campaign settings for Modern Warfare. These are the best graphic settings you guys need to use for this game. This is just going to make the campaign look absolutely insane and it's going to make the game a lot more smoother so you guys can have a crazy experience. Alright guys, before we do get into this, be sure to go down below, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss a single upload on the channel. Also, be sure to join the Discord. I want to get a lot of new active people in there. The more people, the better, man. I definitely want to get a lot of all of you guys in that Discord. All right, guys, let's get straight into the settings. All right, guys, you want to go to your options. You want to go to your settings. And we're first just going to go over the um, graphic settings. Right, guys, and the first thing I did put on here is going to be the, the full screen borderless. This is one of the like the go-to things I always do on uh, on any type of like call of duty um i like to use full screen borderless just so like i'm always not locked in full screen and i can always like switch tabs and do like multiple things all at once and to be honest man uh, putting this to full screen borderless compared to actually putting it to full screen you're not going to get like much performance difference there's no difference at all you're not going to lose frames uh whatsoever so honestly it's up to you for me i like to use full screen borderless i think i prefer that like way over full screen the display adapter man you get it's just going to be your graphics card if you have more than one i guess you can put it to whatever but most of you guys you're just going to have one graphics card so make sure it says um you know whatever you have now the next one here is going to be dynamic resolution just highly recommend just turn this off you don't need to keep it on at all and for the aspect ratio keep this on automatic i don't really recommend changing this unless you have like a wide monitor um if you do have a wide monitor um that's up to you like what monitor you have so um, if you do have like 21 by 9 definitely do put that on but on honestly just keep it automatic the v-sync you want to keep this off it's just gonna really just limit the amount of frames you're gonna get in the game and it's not good at all highly suggest just don't turn this on at all just keep these two settings off the custom frame rate you guys want to put it to 300 you want the smoothest experience possible especially for a campaign and also guys these settings are going to make this game look a lot better too so it's not just like performance based compared to multiplayer this uh, i'm also going to give you guys like good visual settings so you guys can actually like see the game a lot better and overall just have a good experience with the campaign anyway keep this on 300 you know the highest you know the highest they got and for the menu i just keep it at 100 you you don't want the menu to be like really choppy so i just suggest for you to keep it 100 if you want you could increase it but i don't really recommend it because it's just you're just using a lot of your gpu for no reason so just put it to 100 you guys don't always use restart shaders uh, whenever you're getting like stuttering or any type of issue like that so you know if you're getting like issues definitely do restart the shaders now everything here is gonna be default like the focus mode i don't really suggest you mess around with that either um the brightness is one thing i actually did change here for the brightness you want to keep it um right where like the middle box is barely visible you guys do want to like a little bit brighter um maybe you could go to 53 just so you can see the game a little bit more clear but i just keep it at 51 you know i just keep it so i just keep it at 50 i think it's perfect for me you guys can adjust it however you want but you know you don't want the middle box to be like all black or like way too light so just keep it like right in the middle all right guys man these are going to be the best quality settings you guys are going to be using for the campaign make sure you guys do pay attention so of course man this is going to be custom right here render resolution um if you're running like a 19 by 1080 which i believe most of you guys are just keep it at 100 now for the upscaling now this is highly up to you now if you do have a nvidia um you could use the image scaling but i don't really suggest that i suggest you go to fidelity and actually bump this up to 75 now what this is going to do is going to make the game a very very sharp and you don't have to put it like all the way this is just up to you like it's pretty much just personal preference but um your game is not gonna look blurry at all it's gonna look absolutely clear and you're gonna see a lot better um with this setting man trust me try this on you guys will notice a huge difference um you know in the campaign now the intel aliasing honestly the best one i've been using for you know a couple years now is going to be the smaa t2x and to be honest this one right here just looks so much better so just keep this on right here all right so for the intel aliasing quality you guys want to keep it on normal um if you guys do you know put it higher there's really not going to be much difference in the game it's just going to look honestly just the same so just keep it on normal low is just going to look absolutely terrible don't put that on keep it on normal it's the best thing you guys can put on now for the video memory scale this is um i just put it to 87 just so i can use more of my gpu when i'm playing this game um you could max it out but you know it really depends on the graphics card that you do have so honestly just keep it at 87 all right guys now you guys want to copy these settings down man texture resolution keep it on normal texture filter keep it on high nearby level detail I, you guys got to keep this on high as well 
now the distant level of detail i keep it on low now by the way guys i keep these two settings on high just because it doesn't make much difference on the vram as well as you know the frames that you're getting um as you guys can see it even says low and low for the cpu and the effect on vram so it's not going to make much difference so i just keep it on high and the game looks very very nice now for the clutter draw distance keep this on short um you know you don't really need to keep it on long it's not going to make much difference and you, you, you guys really do need the extra frames in the game so just keep it on short now the particle quality and particle quality level i do keep it on high just because the effect on vram it doesn't have much effect you guys can honestly just put this on it's not going to make much difference um with your frames highly suggest put the particle quality on high it's going to look great the bullet impact and sprays you know this time it's campaign it's not multiplayer so i just keep it on i do want to feel like immersed in the campaign so it's very very nice definitely do put this on right here now shader quality i keep this on low um again it's not going to make much difference so um always i always keep the shaders on like all of the coat like every single card i always keep on low so you know just keep it on low now for the tessellation i keep it on near um i think it just again it's just gonna make the campaign look very very nice um i don't really suggest you keep this on all and since the effect on vram is medium as well as the gpu you know you guys can just keep it on near you don't need to turn it off all the way but i think near is just perfect and you can get higher frames as well sharing memory i just keep this on max it really doesn't make a difference on like the frames that you're getting so of course i just want to max it out you know it's not going to hurt me at all and it's just going to make the game look very very nice on demand texture streaming um you guys need to turn this off pretty much it's going to be downloading different resources um you know while you're playing the missions and the game you just just don't turn this on so honestly i keep this off and i also keep these three settings on low as well these three settings right here do actually affect the gpu a lot and i don't want that i you know i just want a lot of frames in my campaign i want this game to look be I want this game to be very very smooth so keep the streaming quality on low volumetric quality on low as well as the physics quality for caustics um i actually keep this on on just because you know it's a new setting and there might be certain parts of the campaign where you actually do need to put this on so i do keep uh, th so that's why i'm keeping this on right here now the shadow map resolution i keep this on normal um the shadows the screen space and the spot shadow i keep this on low it's not going to make much of a difference and i think it's a pretty decent setting to have and you guys need it cast sun shadows i also keep this on um if you guys do turn these settings off right here it will make your game like a little bit stuttery i'm not sure exactly why but um you know do you guys just just put these on don't turn these off at all particle quality i just keep on normal i don't think it's really necessary to honestly just bump this up occlusion i keep this off screen space reflections i keep this on normal the weather grid volumes i also keep this on just because it's a new setting and it's not going to make much of a difference so why not just let's just put this on now the nvidia reflex low latency this is actually a super important setting so if you guys have a gpu bound um pc which means that if your graphics card is better than your cpu you guys want to put on um well this setting right here you guys want to put on on but if you guys have a cpu bound which means your cpu is better than your gpu you guys want to put on on plus boost if you guys if you have any questions let me know down in the comments but honestly i just highly recommend just keep it on now the lex force settings as you guys know um are like the worst things you guys are gonna have in the game turn all these off you don't want depth of field because it's gonna make your ads like very blurry and you want to turn on the turn off the film grain to all the way down to zero so there's no like noise and all this grainy stuff on your screen now for the field of view i use 120 i use ads for the ads field of view i use affected weapon field of view default and the vehicle field of view default so for the camera i always keep this to at least 50 percent also in multiplayer just so the screen is like not shaking that much and i can be more accurate with my shots and i can actually do a lot better um you know especially in campaign so that is my graphic settings for pc for the modern warfare 2 campaign so if you guys did enjoy that video drop a like hit that subscribe button on those post notifications and i will see you in the next one peace